so it looks like it'll fit the way it's. See right now how it's bent? That's kind of the way it's gonna be bent, so that's probably about how you'll want it. Do the bottom one first. But oh, here's the plan. These hoses should probably be trimmed off a little bit. But this is just an initial to get it running. This tractor isn't by far any ways finished. Just because we got the clutch finished. We gotta get it started so we can find out all the other leaks. him a little bit ago and got busy and it's just been on run on the television up there. Hate it when that happens. Cool. We get that tape over there, the black tape. I gotta put tape on this wire. This wire is so bad that This is by no means a professional job here. All I wanted to do is keep it from shorting out. Pretty sure we're gonna be putting a new wire harness on this thing anyway. So. This wire here goes down and it's for the, uh, there's a thing down here on a sensor down here on the side of the TA. I don't even know if the sensor works or not. It's got this wire here on it. So we may as well wrap it with tape here.
This wire here is for the ether thing and we're going to do away with it. So we're going to just put it over here and just get it out of the way for now. I gotta get this battery box up underneath this. That's enough. Okay. There's a bolt there that's gonna be a bugger. You're gonna have to use your fingertips on. I'm just not sure if this camera is getting anything. Well, we got to take that bolt right there and it has to go in through there. But this is going to have to be to push up like that. You can get it. Your toes okay? Yeah. Okay, now we need to wrap it. Maybe. If I can find it. We use a little torque wrench. Maybe it'll fish back through here. Okay, that one's up. Okay, now we gotta, you're gonna have to get these bolts in, in here in the center. Okay. They go right up there in that thing. Oh, like in the center. Oh, okay. So do you want the ladder? Okay, what we did is we just hooked this tack cable up right here. It runs all the way up to the front of the tractor here. It goes into the front of the tractor. It's run off the engine. It tells how many RPMs it's, the engine's running. Okay.
This goes up and hooks onto the alternator. And the air cleaner filter thing that tells if the air cleaner needs to be changed. We're putting this ground strap on. This is what grounds the tractor to the batteries. Gotta hold my mouth just right to get it. Should go in pretty easy. Oh, to have fingers. That's right. See how lucky you are? Well, we're now ready for the battery. Didn't ah. pick it up there. Tightening up the battery clamps. You gotta tighten these up to make sure you got good connection right there. Probably should have done this battery last, but my chair's right here, so this is the reason we're doing this in first. Hopefully nothing's touching over on the other side. Okay, let's go to the other side. Boy, this one isn't very good. It's rounding off. Power. 